and press down all this wahala because of Lagos sun. The sun is deadly, so you have to do everything to protect your makeup. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Oma Shadewa and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can keep your makeup a little bit less oily in this weather because boy if you live in Nigeria currently you know how hot it is it is hot it is so hot okay it is ridiculously hot like anytime I go out I always end up having migraine serious full-on migraine with nausea watery eye by the time I get home because I feel like my brain is fried because of the heat I am just rendered useless this sun is killing I know that people like me who because of the heat still would not use makeup and I also know that there are people who still want to do like the full face so I just wanted to share tips and tricks that could make your makeup a little bit less oily than normal and can prolong your makeup under this Lagos weather so yeah let's jump right into this video so the first thing that I'm going to do is use moisturizer and I'll be using the Garnier Moisture Rescue it's a gel like moisturizer and I'm finding that I prefer this gel textures better I know a lot of people run away from moisturizer especially people with oily skin they feel like the moisturizer usually um, contributes to the oil but this is not true moisturizer is actually very very important it should be your friend even if you have oily skin especially if you have oily skin because if your face is really moisturized your skin would not have to overcompensate with oil so the next thing that I'm going to do you must have seen it floating around YouTube and it's a very very good hack to control oil and even make your makeup last this hack is using powder right before you use your foundation I'll be using the fashion fair oil blotting powder I'm just going to get a fluffy brush and just paste that especially in the areas where I feel are more oily the t-zones just ever so slightly so the next thing I'll be doing is putting the foundation on the powder and you're just going to do this the normal way you usually use your foundation and for foundation today I'll be using Maybelline Superstay foundation this is in the shade purple and I'll be mixing this with the black of all true color foundation this is in the shade beautiful bronze just Oh my goodness, this is a mess. And I'm just going to blend using a flat fluffy buffer. I can already feel that the powder underneath is making this a bit drier than usual, which is kind of what we're going for. That matte, that very matte finish and oil free finish. So the next thing I'm going to do is highlight, and for that I'll be using my um zaron concealer and i'll be mixing this with um the ella girl concealer in fun i'm just going to spread this under my eyes and leave it there to cook i normally do not do this because i don't like to bake or cook anything but this method can really really help uh, especially under this Lagos heat it's going to make everything stay intact no creasing, no moving, nothing and to contour I'll be using the Makeup Forever foundation this is in the shade it's the HD foundation this is in the shade 195 Next thing I'm going to do is blend the highlight. I believe it has cooked enough. I'm just going to lightly blend that. I really, really love the texture of the Zaron concealer. Um, doing this technique, leaving your concealer on for so long, leaving it to cook. If you're working with a very, very dry, very matte concealer, it might be so difficult to blend. But I find that when I mix the Zaron concealer with any concealer, it just makes it a little bit more creamy. And I love this particular shade in it. It's so yellow and so warm. It just gives that under, um, under eye life. So the next thing I'm going to do is another hack or a trick that can make your foundation produce 
less oil in more time. I don't know if that makes sense. So what I do is get a tissue. If it's a two ply tissue, make sure you divide it into two so that you have the lightest tissue possible. And then, well, I like to use a serviette. It's a bit thick, but if you spread it all out, well, you get this thin layer. Um, I like to use the serviette because it's so big and I don't have to be dabbing section by section. I just do this and put it all over my face and press down all oh, this for her like because of Lagos sun. The sun is deadly so you have to do everything to protect your makeup. Just keep doing that and it leaves your face really really matte. And while you're doing this please don't rub, don't rub down. Even if you're using a smaller tissue size all you have to do is just do this. Do not rub down because rubbing is going to destroy your makeup. And it should be really really there shouldn't be so much uh, stain on your tissue just a little bit of pigment is going to come off your tissue another hack that I like to do after this step this you can skip it's not compulsory but I feel like it helps even just a little bit more is you take a certain spray and spray on your beauty blender make sure it's damp and then push right into the skin Quite a number of people put certain spray on beauty blender to blend their foundation. This is a little bit different because you're just blending, you're just, um, how do I put it? You're pressing in the setting spray more or less, and you're just using that to safeguard your makeup. So the next thing that I do is set a face. And at this point, your beauty blender is still a little bit damp, so it's perfect to set the face with your setting powder. I'll be using the Sasha Buttercup. I'm just going to be pressing this into my skin, like so. I never get, I never get this thing equal. One side is usually higher than the other side, no matter what I do. I never get it right. So next thing I'm going to do is bronze up my face, which is one of my favorite things to do. And to do this, I'll be using the Iman powder in, this is in F5. And then to bring everything together, I'll be going back in with my Fashion Fair or Blotting Powder in my shade. It's just going to help blend everything together. Okay, so I have done my eyebrows, so I'm just going to move on straight to my eyes. I'll be using the Juvia's Place Sahara Palette. I haven't touched it before, it's new. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that performs. So to start, I'll be using this uh i'll be using this shade called taza and i'll be putting that right onto the transition area and i'm just going to make that a bit deeper and i'm going in with this shade right here it's called fez and i'll be putting that right into my crease area And then I'm going to use this burgundy-ish color. It's really deeper than what is showing on the camera. It's called Zora. And I'm just going to push that right on the outer corner of my eye. Push the right in, push the right in, push the right in. So I feel like I want a little bit more orangey on the top there. So I'll be using this eyeshadow from mark and as usual i cannot remember the name i'll leave it down in the description box i'm just freestyling at this point i just know that i want like a brownish but popping eyes how i'm going to get there i don't know so i'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my eyelid just so that the lid color will stay put just a little 
I'm going to use this black for two palettes and there is a brown here that I really like it's called light brown just going to be pasting that You know what, I feel like I want that brown to be a bit darker. So I'm going to go back into the Juvia's Face palette and use this orangey shade that I used earlier. I'm going to paste that right there so that I get a good mix of the brown. Yes, this is the brown that I want. And then I'm just going to go back in with that maroon color that I used earlier to make sure that the two blend well together. And I want to use um, glitter. I haven't used glitter in a long time. And I'll be using this uber chic glitter. It's a gold glitter. And it's called Ogamadam. Is it going the right direction? I feel not. So I'm just going to line my upper lid. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is smudge my under eye. I'll be using this blue pencil from Zara. From my waterline, my eyes are about to start tearing the F up. So I'll be using the Taza shade from the palette and I'll be placing that right underneath here for a nice smoky effect. So time for lashes, I'll be using the pink lash in, is this thing so overexposed, in hot sauce. Okay, so I'm almost done with the eyes. So I'm going to use the Zara Face Define. I'll be using this highlight shade. I'm going to be putting that on my brow bone. And I'll also be using that in the inner corner of the eye. So I'll be using my Skinavia Setting Spray. I'm just spraying that all over my face. Now this next thing that I want to do is totally optional. I know it really makes no sense to do hacks and tricks to reduce the oil then to now use oil again i know it makes no sense so it is optional the only reason i'm doing this is because currently this is the only way i use highlights since i found this hack i found it on insta um on youtube since then it has changed my highlight life i use this on my um, bare skin i use it on top of makeup and it has changed my highlight life so i have to me not using it is like me suffering myself i'll be using this oil it's an it's argan oil you can use any oil that you want to but currently i've been loving argan oil on my face and then i do just like half a pump <laughs> that was a full squirt that i just i only put this on my cheek just like so but using my highlighter brush i'm going to go back in the Zaron um, face definer palette. I'm using the shade XD10. I'm going to place that right on that oily area. So to finish up the rest of my face, I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to put on some lip balm first. Who would believe that I used lip balm and actually exfoliated before this video? My lips are just so dry. I'm just going to line my lips. And I'm using this matte lipstick from Zaron. It's the new matte lip fix and this is in the shade clay. I'm 
I'll be using another Zaron product. This is the Zaron Ultra Shine Lip Gloss in with my lips. Just right there in the center. And my gloss combo is not complete without the Jouer um, Lip Topper in. This is in Saint Tropez. This is Saint Tropez. I'm just Saint Tropez. I don't know. That's not what we are here for. I'll be putting the uh, in the middle. Like so. Like, like, like so. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'll be using the Scandinavia Setting Spray. So guys, this is the finished look. Um, so off camera, I put a little bit of a, a lighter lipstick in the middle just to pop things up. Yeah, so that's it guys. And before you go, do not forget to subscribe. Please just subscribe if you want to see more content. I promise I'm going to make more videos. I'm going to make more videos. I'm really, really going to make more videos. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.